Bart gets denied entry into Japan. We are sharing this as a learning tool. By now you should have watched the shorts and two videos about Bart taking on the Japanese sailors. If you haven't, go find and watch them first. Our story starts as Bart was invited to race in Tokyo against the best sailors in Japan. The race would take place on Sunday, the 24th of March, 2024, and consists of six races. Our team consisted of Team Sail Wars racer Bart and three production team members. Since everyone is a volunteer at Sail Wars, the team agreed to make the challenge into a 10-day vacation since the cost of traveling to Japan is so expensive. The team flew out of Orlando, Florida and Colorado Springs, Colorado on a Wednesday. Okay, so the start of the trip, we're doing a shuttle between the terminals in Orlando. The trip to the airport and two flights would add up to about 20 hours total travel time to get to Japan. The flights were very long and we arrived in Japan the next day. The team met up at Narita Airport and proceeded through customs. The first three members of our team made it through the customs, but then they stopped Bart. Bart's passport had been reported lost, so he couldn't ent enter the country. So how could this happen? Let's go back eight months. While thinking about going on a cruise, Bart looked in the pocket where he always kept his passport. He couldn't find it in there, so he went through the, pr the process of getting a replacement. When the new passport arrived, he put in the same pocket where he had kept the other. When it was time to upload the passport onto the United Airlines website in Japan's custom site, Bart reached into the pocket and scanned the passport. Neither United Airlines nor Japan Custom caught that the passport that Bart had scanned was the one that he lost. Bart admits that it was his fault for grabbing the wrong passport. But what good is it to scan your passport? to both those sites if they don't check them. Someone could just upload a fake passport. By now we had established that the new passport was back in Florida. Bart would have to go back and get it. Bart landed in the United States about 15 hours later in Newark, New Jersey. Now U.S. Customs would not let Bart into the country without the same passport. They took him in the back and an hour and a half later they let him into the country. It took so long that Bart barely made his connecting flight to Orlando. Three hours of flying and an hour of driving. Bart finally was able to get a shower and three hours of sleep before heading back to the airport. Did we mention that Bart can't sleep on planes? Now after two more flights and six total, Bart was back in Japan. After three days of, and 60 hours of travel, he made it through customs. Yay! <laughs> He then had to navigate two train stations while pulling two suitcases and wearing a very large backpack before meeting up with the cell war team. <laughs> what did Bart miss? Disney Sea. 
くWater Cafe. <laughs> Aww, the Tamaya store in Tokyo. Bart would like to thank Connie for taking video of everything he missed so he could see it. Bart learned a big and costly lesson. But he stayed in good spirits and was there before the big race day, barely. Tune in for our next Japan video when we show how the racing went. Is that a Japanese mahi? Can Bart hold his own against Japan's champion sailors? Will Godzilla get the Japanese mahi? If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit the like button for more videos. Thank you for liking and subscribing.